The Detroit Tigers have been bad for quite some time now, and it's pretty clear some of the moves that have been made in recent years scream desperation and being uninformed. Right after the 2021 season, the Tigers went out and signed their guy, their new frontline starter, Eduardo Rodriguez, giving him $77 million over five years. In 2022, his first year in Detroit, Rodriguez pitched to an ERA over four and only made 17 starts, pitching under 100 innings, in large part because he basically just decided to ghost the team at one point. He was having off-the-field issues and literally didn't tell the team anything or keep them updated. And as for the start of 2023... It's been real bad, as Rodriguez has given up 7 earned runs on 9 hits, 3 of which left the yard, and 4 walks. Now, Eduardo Rodriguez was never expected by anybody to be one of the best pitchers in baseball after signing the contract with his new team, and I'm sure the Tigers knew that. But at the same time, was he ever worth over $15 million a year? No. And he's of course only proven that to be true up until this point. I hope he figures it out, but this is more on the Tigers than anything. They shouldn't have committed to Rodriguez the way that they did, and most certainly shouldn't have committed to Javier Baez the way that they did. I'm not trying to sound like some expert here who knows it all, but I saw this coming from a mile away after Baez signed in Detroit. I just knew it wouldn't turn out great, and it most definitely hasn't to start. After the 2021 season, a season in which Baez was actually really good, the Tigers signed him to a six-year deal worth $140 million. Now, here's the thing about Javier Baez and why I say I saw his struggles coming from the moment he signed the deal. All you have to do is just look at the kind of hitter he is. He's never been an on-base guy, ever. Baez walking happens seemingly as often as someone going into outer space. It just never happens. He can't lay off pitches out of the strike zone, swings out of his shoes, and you add age to that kind of a hitter? That's a recipe for disaster. Baez finished second in the MVP voting in 2018, followed that up with a really good 2019 season, was horrendous in 2020, but it was the shortened year, so who cares? 2021 was great for Javi in both the Cubs and Mets uniform, so you could at least see somewhat why Detroit decided to dish out over $23 million a year to Baez to be their shortstop. But at the same time, again, these are the kind of moves that have been killing the Tigers. For as much as he strikes out and swings at pitches outside of the zone while never walking at the same time, Javier Baez seemed like the most obvious candidate to regress, and boy has he regressed. Last year, 2022, his first year as a Tiger, Javier Baez was terrible at the plate. And it's not like this was a 2020 type year for him where it was a small sample size of games. No, he played in 144 games last year and was one of the worst hitters in baseball while getting paid like one of the best. As far as the start to the 2023 season? Yikes big yikes. Here are some of the swings Baez has been taking at pitches so far this year against the Rays, Astros, and Red Sox. I mean, it's just embarrassing. Javier Baez used to be one of the more electric and fun guys to watch play, and now he's just turning into one of the worst busts of all time, especially in Tigers history. In a division where the Guardians, Twins, and White Sox exist, it's hard not to see the Tigers finishing at the bottom of the barrel yet again in 2023. There's just no reason to believe in them, at least for right now. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.